Now, ever since Mike Evans was drafted out of the College of Texas A&M, he has burst onto the scene as one of the best receivers in the NFL. And he has gotten 1,000 receiving yards in six seasons in a row in his first six seasons in the NFL. But the real question is, can he get it for a seventh and break the record? So what is up guys, a tip here. And in this video, I'll be talking about whether I think Mike Evans can get seven 1,000 yard receiving seasons in a row and break Randy Moss's record of six. So what we have to take into accountability is the team Mike Evans is playing and whether his coaches and players know about everything that's happening. So Mike Evans will be playing the Atlanta Falcons on Sunday. And the Falcons really don't have a good secondary at all. They have one of the worst secondaries, if anything. Keon O'Neal, he's not the greatest coverage player, but he can make tackles. I mean, I think that Mike Evans, he's 40 yards away, by the way. Right now, he has 960 yards. And in his previous seasons, I'll show it up on the screen right now. He had 1,051 receiving yards, 1,206, 1,321. 1,001, he barely got by that season, 1,524, the most he's had in the season before, and 1,157. And right now, he has 960. Obviously, he, he had that insane game versus the Detroit Lions where he had 181 yards and two touchdowns, and that really helped him because before that game, he was 221 yards away, and now he's only 40, of course. So, if it weren't for that game, then I think that he would have had he would have had a very very small chance. But because of that game, his chances have boosted by a lot. And Randy Moss is the only other person in NFL history to have six 1,000 yard receiving seasons in a row in their first six seasons. And I'll show Randy Moss stats up on the screen as well. He had 1,313 in his first season. And then he had a 100 yard jump with 1,413, then 1,437, then 1,233, 1,347, 1,632. And he actually had over 700 yards in 2004. But the reason he couldn't get 1,000 is because he had a hamstring injury on his right leg, which caused him to miss the remainder of the season after he got his 730 yards, but he most likely would have gone a 7,000 yard season in a row. Anyways, back to Mike Evans. Now Mike Evans, as I said, he's playing the Falcons. And another thing we have to take into accountability is if his teammates and coaches know it. And when I was researching for this video, I found out that Bruce Arians did, does know that Mike Evans can break this record and I mean, he's probably going to want Brady to throw the ball to Mike Evans a lot. Like, Brady force-fed Mike Evans last game, and maybe not force-feed, but he's going to want Brady to throw to Mike Evans a decent amount. I mean, Mike Evans, he hasn't necessarily been the greatest receiver this season. He hasn't been the worst either, of course, but I mean, he's had two games, I'm pretty sure it was two yards. In one of them, he had two touchdowns, but I mean, come on, two yards? I, you can still say he's a top 10 receiver, but the, the thing we're talking about in this video is whether he can get a thousand yards this season. Honestly, I think he can very well do it. He's 40 yards away. He's playing one of the worst secondaries in the NFL. They really don't have any good secondary players. They have Grady Jarrett and Deion Jones. That won't really help with covering Mike Evans because one of them's a linebacker and one of them's a defensive lineman. I mean... Mike Evans is obviously a beast. He can go up and grab basically anything. I'm pretty sure he's 6'6", so that's very tall, of course. He's a monster. I just, I don't see what will stop him. The only thing is, the Bucks do have an insane amount of receivers and tight ends that are great. They have Scotty Miller, who I'm pretty sure is one of Tom Brady's favorite targets. They have Chris Godwin, and they have Rob Gronkowski. And let's not forget, of course, Mike Evans. So... My only concern here is 
if Brady will recognize Mike Evans enough and actually want to get him these yards. Now, the, the thing is, Brady, he and Mike Evans are definitely still building chemistry because when you watch them, their chemistry is there, but it's not at a max that you want it to be with a number one receiver, right? Like... Look at Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen, or Aaron Rodgers and Devontae Adams. Obviously, oh, well, how about this is a better example, Josh Allen and Stephon Diggs. Those two, they are absolutely on a t tear. I mean, Stephon Diggs, he leads the NFL in receiving yards, and this is his first season with Josh Allen, just like it's Mike Evans' first season with Tom Brady. But Stephon Diggs and Josh Allen have figured out a way to get chemistry off the field by playing video games and stuff like that, which is a great way to get chemistry, right? But Tom Brady and Mike Evans, I don't think they're trying to do none of that, you feel me? So, this leads to less chemistry, and less chemistry leads to worse play on the field, right? But Mike Evans, I'm pretty sure that he knows what he's doing. He's a, he, you can consider him a vet. I mean, it's his sixth season in the NFL. And obviously Tom Brady's a veteran, come on up. But the thing is, they ha I'm pretty sure that they both know a lot about the game. They both want each other to succeed. And I think that Brady, he's just going to try to get Mike Evans the ball as much as he can when he's open. Mike Evans, I mean, whether he's open or not, he'll still catch anything, I feel like. He doesn't drop the ball a lot. He knows when, when to go up and get it and when not to. And I think that that just leads for success. I don't see any reason Mike Evans won't get 40 yards in this game. I think that he will break the amount of yards he got in the season. He got 1,001. I honestly think he can get around 60 or 70. He might even have a breakout game like he did versus the Lions. Like, he might, he might have an insane game. On the Lions, there's no one to cover him. I mean, Jeff Okuda, no offense to him, but he hasn't been the greatest player ever this season. And I mean, on the on the Falcons, there's really not many people better to guard him. So I just, I don't see what will be preventing Mike Evans from getting it. I think it's just up in his mind on whether he's going to decide to get it or not. And I think that partially it is Tom Brady, but mainly Mike Evans. I think that Bruce Arians will know to get Mike Evans the ball a lot. And hey, hopefully we can see a banner saying, Mike Evans, first person to ever get seven 1,000 receiving yards in his first seven seasons of playing in the NFL, or something like that, you know, because that would be very cool to see. Mike Evans, he seems like a cool dude, maybe a bit cocky, you know, but all NFL players are cocky, let's be real here. But anyways, I just want to make this video about whether, I, whether Mike Evans can break the record or not, because, you know, Randy Moss was actually his idol growing up, and... Now he might be able to break Randy Moss's record. I mean, he's already tied it, so I'm not break it, you know, when you can. But anyways, that'll be the video. Leave a comment below if you want about your opinion on this. And yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.